Hello everyone and welcome back. So one of the hardest things to admit as a man right now is that life is harder. It's hard to build a relationship with people. It's hard to build a relationship with women. And this is just a product of our own doing, to be honest. It's been an issue that both men and women contributed to. It's a problem that we both created. It wasn't just women, it wasn't just men. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because this video with Dr. K was an amazing video. So the first thing I wanted to share with you is what he said about introspection. Now, if you look at what happens in people's days, they don't actually have any time to process what happens to them because we are so constantly distracted by external things. So as we externalize our attention, we lose sight of our internal signals. We don't know who we are anymore. And now if I don't know who I am, how do I figure out who I'm supposed to be? I pay attention to the outside. Where are the answers? They're on the outside. So this person is talking about masculinity. This person is talking about what it means to be a man. This person is talking about what it means to be a man. And now since I don't have any internal source of information, I'm trying to figure out what it means to be a man from the outside world. And this is when men get truly because what it means to be a man, we are getting all kinds of mixed signals. And he's not wrong because a lot of us have been looking outside for answers. That's how we end up taking advice from people that we shouldn't be taking advice from. But we also need to understand that without introspection and without the willingness to build healthy and good relationship with other people, we will keep being lonely. We will keep being depressed and we will keep failing to understand something very important. We need each other. And it's about time to stop letting people divide us. So women no longer need men. You can have an independent life. As a man, you no longer need a woman. You can get a flashlight if you want to. You can have an AI girlfriend. You have pornography. You, you don't, you don't, we don't need each other. And yet the, the human mind is the only organ of the body that in order for be, it to be healthy, it requires another human being. We need someone else to be mentally healthy. So now what we're going to have to do as a society is evolve. We're going to have to start to realize that we don't need relationships anymore in order to survive. But without them, we will all suffer. And suffering indeed we are. That being said, let me pivot this a little bit because eventually this conversation led to Red Pill and what he actually said shocked me. He gave me a lot to think about. So for years and years and years, we have ignored the struggles of men. And there's one group on the planet who accepts them with open arms. And the more that we demonize them, so when someone starts believing in this toxic masculinity, what is the response? Do people ever ask like, help me understand what your life is like? Like, what do you like about this person? Because everyone's going to them for a reason, but we never, we never bother to ask. Why are you listening to this person? What does this mean to you? I see these, we see these posts all the time in our community. My boyfriend is getting into this stuff. My son is getting this stuff. How do I stop it? Hold on a second. Don't try to stop it. Understand it first. And you know what? As somebody who used to consume a lot of red pill content, I never had anyone trying to understand why I did. On the other hand, I do understand why people don't bother. It's because most of the interaction that they might have with red pill, that, that being the community or the content or whatever it is, most of these interactions that people from the outside of that community have a negative and a good example is my own interaction with people from that community even though i used to be part of that community now that i'm outside of it and i'm trying to in a way criticize them for them to do better i get a lot of pushback and i get a lot of insult which is definitely not going to help the community and maybe people are not trying to understand red pill because red pill is not trying to understand people if people in that community are still being so negative and so aggressive in terms of the way they respond to criticism they will keep failing, which is very unfortunate. Because as men, we need something like Red Pill, but with a lot less of the toxicity and a lot more sustainable solution to our problem. That being said, we cannot forget that society and the government has failed men, generally speaking. And that's also caused a lot of anger, a lot of frustration amongst men. So we turn every emotion. So men experience anger is something called an umbrella emotion. We literally suppress and are conditioned to suppress all other emotions except for anger. And then if you talk to men about their experience of life, anger is always the first thing that comes out of their mouth. Someone breaks up with you, how do you feel about it? Do you feel ashamed? No, that's not what we say. I feel pissed off. How could she do this to me? And then we vent that anger on the internet and then this turns into misogyny, right? And then we get demonized for it. And it's not that there isn't, uh, we should be harshly judged if we act on those kinds of emotions. I'm not saying that that's the case. But what we also need to consider is that the men who are saying these kinds of toxic things 
are saying that for a reason. This is because of their upbringing. This is because of the world that they lived in. And you know, that's the reason why when I interact with people who seem to have a very red pill way of thinking, I always ask questions because I want to really understand what's going on. And even if what they say makes me angry, you know, or sometimes it makes me scratch my head a little bit, most of the time I try to give them a chance to explain it because that's kind of what I wish they would do to me when I criticize them. That's what I wish that Red Pill, the Red Pill community would do to people who criticize them. Listen, in the end, it all starts with us. It all starts with me. It all starts with you as an individual. And one of the most uncomfortable truth is that as individual people, we have the power to make changes. But a lot of the time we refuse or at least we resist the idea of doing it because being vulnerable and looking within us it is it's something that most of us are afraid to do or, or in a way we we just don't know how to do it and it's understandable because putting yourself in a vulnerable place is quite a, a dangerous thing to do this day and age especially with a lot of people who are not very compassionate or understanding or patient or even kind to be honest but i think going back to the very first point is important if you're having a hard time in life you have to sit down and face your own demons you have to face these uncomfortable feelings and you might have to put yourself in the uncomfortable situation of stepping out of your comfort zone and going out there and yeah getting rejected but that's okay there's no need to be angry or frustrated or give up because of rejection and being okay with rejection will set you up for success that's it for me today and i hope this video was actually able to give you something to think about guys and please take care of yourself